All right, welcome back. And uh, we have nutrition. Uh, that's what we have now. And it's festive season. I know a no number of you have places planned to go to. I have places planned to go to. I have things I want to eat. So, Oluwa Kemi Jeje, she should just jejeli be by herself today because me, if you say anything that is not this thing, I will listen with one ear. And I, okay, well, Oluwa Kemi Jeje, of course, is here in the house. Good morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Thank you All for right. having me. It's good to be here again. Okay. So, number one. I am planning to go for a grill. There's a particular grill. And people have spoken about how charcoal, uh, the effects of charcoal on meat or fish and all of that. Greg is also by the side and he's looking at me. He's like, on the same, on the same you, uh, level. Do you mean we shouldn't have our suya uh, ah, this yeah. season? <laughs> our Cat barbecue. Fish. You know, do you understand? <laughs> oh. With that extra onion. On Saturday, there's one. And Yaji, on and Yaji. There's one honey glazed turkey I'm planning for Saturday. We're going to play football after the football. There's this honey turkey. So that I see what you are saying now. I'm, me, I'm listening to you. Even like me, you. my mouth is watery, but, but really, there are healthier options to these things. First of all, let's go a bit lower on meat. That's really heavy and really, really a lot of work for the body to deal with. And we're going to be doing a lot of these things. Mm. So please choose your seafood protein over those heavy, high calorie beef. Red meat, Red right? Meat, yes. Yeah. Take your seafood protein over there, like your snails. Snails are fantastic as well. Have you mm. tried pepper snail? Eh? Ah. Are you? Are you? Are you? You want to push ah. to the pop? <laughs> hey, hey, and, then, and then, if you are doing your catfish, have you tried them baked, like baked in the foil, mm. and then the sauce really gets into it and it's juicy? Those are all the alternatives. So, uh, yeah, I wanted. I started with that girl thing, yeah. People talk about the effects of charcoal. And, yeah. you know, the dry, especially when it gets into it. yes. Yes, and all of that. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that and why people should, maybe if, they, if it's possible, have other options, as it were. Yeah, so like I said, you want to, you want to stay away from this smoked directly, where you smoke the protein directly, directly. on the charcoal. Okay. And then the charcoal gets burnt. It mm. feels like it's a bit more flavor, right? Yeah. But it's really dangerous. Mm. So you want, to, you want to stay away from that and go for the healthy options where you, you're not directly hitting with charcoal. Okay, so this, yes, like so it's, it's, it's so it's packed, it's, it's packed, or, or, or it's cooked, it's steamed. Some people, I know some people have spoken about that there are some things in the fall that when you boil also, see, we've heard quite a number of things. Well, it's healthier. It's healthier. It's healthier. It's I mean, healthier. There, there are a lot of controversies about a lot of nutritional topics, but this yeah. is safer as that what we know now. Mm. And even more so, you can steam. You can, you can really season for, and that's why I say to you, you remember last week we said, create your own environment. Don't go out hungry because once you're hungry, your brain stops functioning. You won't even process these things before you know it, I beg. This thing <laughs> an saying. hungry man is an angry man. So you have a healthy yeah. dose of fiber in the morning before you leave the house. Mm. Carry your snack packs along with you. When you say fiber, what, what, what is fiber? What do you mean by fiber? Okay, so for instance, purple is in season and it's really dense in, in, in fiber. So you have a few slices of purple and you're not likely to be hungry. So you can eat with common sense. Like your sense is still active. <laughs> well, you know, intentionally, some people go to events and they go hungry. In yeah. fact, some people, some sell-off point for some events is come hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not common sense. Mm. Because then your, your sense is sort of suspended and you're not processing that much. Mm. You know, like, eh, ma, let's not eat. We're going for a party. Don't, let's not do that this season. Mm. Let's eat. I mean, the essence, let's shift the focus of the parties a, lot, a little more to the experiences we're going to have. So we can have good food experiences. This thing you're saying. I know people that have cost couples <laughs> when they went to We're wedding. hungry. And we left and hungry. So and the, then the food was passing over you. Experience is I the know. food. <laughs> The food, the, yes, I so, mean, so how I'm many people... So I'm advocating a cultural shift. Just mm. in case the food does not even get to you, you can still have a good time, right? Ah. Which good time? How? <laughs> no, you how? How? Have Explain. A, have a good how? talk with someone around. Meet a meet a friend. All you the know. social media talk I'm talking. This is never do. It's when I come to meet best someone day. new. <laughs> have a cocktail. <laughs> the food is the reason. <laughs> now let's talk about drinks. And we, now you so mentioned cocktail and all of that. Also, the options are not only for food. Absolutely. There is also option for drinks and all Absolutely. of that. People tend to you know go overboard and all of that. Yeah. Are there any tips you want to give us when it comes to uh, drinks or also things that you can or avoid or maybe put in uh, measured measured intakes and all, all of that. Truth is, we all know what, what's right. Mm. Um, this is just a reminder. And, and just to say again, like I'm really advocating today, a shift in mindset, mm. how we engage with these things. I mean, I wouldn't say don't take alcohol, 
because I mean that's how some people get their kick but moderately 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 go for a red wine like have like like I've oh, heard from perfect research for me but not a bottle of red wine only you <laughs> Good for the vodka. I've also heard that they they have their healthy um, benefits. For yes, it. for vodka. But, you know, in shots, also in small shots. And then if you are the sugar person, go for the processed fruits. Um, it's, it's also a lot of sugar directly to your system at once, but at least it has some benefits in it. It has some vitamins in it. So mm. what I'm advocating this morning is let's do these things with our senses because your body is one. I'm not going to give you my body if you damage yours because mm. it's Christmas. And Christmas mm. is just a few days and it's gone. And you're going to have to live with the consequences of what you do. And in any case, it's a cultural thing. It's, a, it's an habit that you have created. So Christmas aside, let's just start to shift how we do this thing. I like, I like what you're saying there because, you see, if the mindset, I, I think it's all, it's all in the mind. Like you said, if I go to an event and I, 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 I've already... You know, there's a paradigm shift that look, the food is not the experience. You yeah. mentioned that there are some yeah. other things that you can look forward to the discussions yeah. or whatever is happening, maybe a performance or something. Absolutely. You know, making the food not the experience. Because for many of us, or for many people, that food there is the experience and all of that. But then, uh, I know, so after going for this kind of events, now I, hear, I, I hear something about people talking about how maybe when you go for these events and you eat and you drink a lot, when you come back, you should take a lot of water maybe to try and see if you can cleanse the system or something and all of that. How does that work? Is there anything one can do to, you know, maybe after splodging and, you know, getting yeah, sure. yourself off, sure. is there anything one can do to sure. maybe help and, you know, roll back the effects of, of some of these things that you maybe... Sure. Well, you it's, not, it's never usually completely, but yes, yes but you can give ways. the body additional help for detox. Okay. You can take, like I said to you last week, you can take your teas, your green teas, your and green. then we have our own herbal teas here. So you can take your tea, lemongrass tea. This green tea and lemongrass tea and all of that, uh, a lot of them talk about the weight loss and all of that. Is, 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 are there mm. healthy... Yeah, talk to me about it, about this green there tea. There are no weight loss teas. Okay. No weight loss teas. Okay. But these teas have their... For me, they're majorly a source of micronutrients. But also, because you're taking them hot, they help your body metabolism go up, so your body is doing less work. Yeah, okay. when you take hot stuff. And that's why we're encouraging in the morning, have a glass of hot water with lemon in it because it instantly helps your metabolism. Your green tea, do you, you take it like that raw? You don't ha add any other things into it? Pre so you, preferably. I mean, you're just trying to clean out. You've shut okay. down all kinds of things. Have your green tea seen. Have your lemongrass tea. And, I mean, green tea is mostly from China. You know that. But we have our own herbs here. We have our papaya tea that is a fantastic herb for... You know, cleansing out the digestive but this, this system. These green teas and these properties, we get them processed already. They're processed. They're just, we now have them in tea bags. Mm. So it's not like we used to have them before where you can just pack a, uh, a full plant in a pot and then they say, oh, dosing is now the challenge. But, you know, we now have them in tea bags. In so you can have one tea bag in 500 ml of water. And there's one that I particularly prefer. If you know that you have been naughty, go for the very bitter ones or go for your bitter leaf. You know, your squeezed bitter leaf and take the juice. Yes. And then down it with a lot of water and punish yourself with some exercise as well. So your body has a lot more That's power right. to deal with the things that you have thrown in it. Are you, is her mic not off now? <laughs> when she said bitter leaf, I just squeeze what? Uh, but thank you so much. Hello, you're welcome. Here.